There are many activities to do out on the Avalonian roads here in Albion Online. In this video, we're going to be talking about Avalonian fishing in Tier 7 and Tier 8 zones. With this method that I've been using, I have been able to make 1 mil silver plus an hour. It's a very good return rate for the time that you give in as long as you can find the right roads. In this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to wear to get the best yield, as well as the equipment, escape tools you need to bring, pots, different types of food, as well as I'm going to show you how to find and go out into the Avalonian roads and search for these portals to get started fishing in tier 7 and 8 zones. So the first thing that we're going to look at is the destiny board. So if you open this up, we're going to go down to the gathering side. So we go trainee gather and we're going to go down to the fishing. So we have the fisherman tree right here. I have it at 69 out of 100. What we want is we want to unlock level 60 so we want to have access to tier 7 gear now this is vital if you do want to do fishing in the avalonian roads i do not recommend doing anything under tier 7 fishing because it is not worth the time that you put in and the return is not as good the tier 7 fish such as like dangle mouth catfish as well as pure mists are some of the most valuable fish in the game and rack up very quickly as well as you can catch some sturgeons if you can go into some tier 8 zones as well as the first previous mentioned fish we still have the catfish as well as the pyramids now these are the most profitable fish that are in there there are a lot of other tier 6 tier 7 fish that show up but you do want you need to unlock tier 7 because you need a tier 7 fishing rod to be able to catch the most valuable fish in the tier 7 zones and up now the way that you're going to want to get this up i know you're thinking that you just need to go do a ton of fishing it's going to take forever to get to tier 7 but the real thing that you do is you actually if you have some extra silver and i do recommend that you make some extra silver before doing this method do not fish your way all the way to 70 it's going to be a complete waste of your time it's going to take forever to do it I'd rather you do some kind of dungeons, any kind of like gathering that you do on the side, rack up some silver. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the market and you're going to want to buy fish. Now, in Albion Online, if you buy fish, you can actually get fame for the different types of fish that you buy. So I'm just going to look up, I'm going to clear this, and the river sturgeon. This is what you can catch in the road as well as in the open world. But if you eat one of these, it gives you 140 fishing fame. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys real quick. I'm just going to buy 20 of these. And if you do have premium, you are going to get a little bit more XP from them. You get a 50% bonus. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going to equip the fish. And I'm going to eat it. So you're going to see here is I'm going to get fame procs. And all I do is I just keep eating the fish. And before this number hits one, I equipped more fish and keep eating. And that's, you just keep doing it over and over. If I do let this timer go down to zero and re-equip the fish, there's going to be a countdown. So I'll show you guys right here. So if we keep eating, we re-equip. There's going to be a 10 second countdown. Now you're going to have to wait. Long story short, what you do is you buy any kind of fish that you can afford for the best fame rate. Just check the prices. I did river sturgeons personally. And all you do is you buy enough fish just buy like a stack of like 500 600 fish anything that you have extra you can always sell back on the market and people buy fish very often but all you do is you're going to eat fish until you unlock tier 7 the tier 7 fishing gear so you just need to get your fishing to level 60 and once you have the tier 7 fishing gear you are good to go now from here i'm going to grab my mount and get into this corner this is the gear set that I'm running while we are out fishing in the Avalonian Roads. So you can run an undead cape or a Fort Sterling cape. The reason I run a Fort Sterling cape is for the... It activates when you get stunned, silenced, or rooted. So, for example, if a mace uses their W on me and roots me, this will cleanse it off of me. It has a minute, 50 second cooldown. But I have been able to get out some sticky situations. As well as if you are gathering out there, you can take a stag or a moose. For a little bit extra carry weight as well as it has a two second gallop speed so if you do get hit by a mob or a player if you're not hit for another two seconds you get back up to full speed very quickly so it does become pretty hard to catch at times but the health is a little bit lower so you do have to be careful for gankers as well i always take an invis pot just because invis pots if you get you get pretty good with invis pots you can juke out people pretty well and get away for the boots, we're going to be rocking a full gathering set. So when you are fishing in the Avalonian Roads, you want to push your fishing yield as much as possible. So we have a full set of Tier 7. And what these do is it increases your gathering yield by 1.25%. 
or tier 7 fish or lower for every 30 seconds you have this item equipped. And it stacks up to 10 times. So we have this on every single one. This one does 2.5%, stacks up to 10 times. And then we have a 1.25% for the boots, stacks up to 10 times. Then we have the pork pie, which is going to give us another 15% gathering yield. So this is a food that we actually consume. And we'll actually do that right now. I brought three of them with me just in case I'm out long. But I'm just showing you guys this for the video. So we're going to eat this food. And as you can see down here, increases all of the yield for everything right here. We have 86% fishing yield plus the 50% from premium. So with this, we do have the chance to proc two to three fish every time we are fishing. Usually it's three. So this, does, this increased yield does increase profit exponentially when you do have this increased yield. As well as when you are out fishing, you want to bring it fisherman's journals now you can do tier six journals you can do tier seven you can do tier five they could be trophy journals or they could be regular fishing journals all you need to do though is you need to bring out these journals with you because they fill up with fame as you're fishing doesn't matter what zone you're fishing in doesn't matter if you have a tier a journal doesn't matter if you have a tier three journal anywhere you fish fame will be collected up in these books and they can be filled for extra profit a lot of these journals go for like 200k plus and we can be fishing we can get this one filled in probably an hour, if that, and that's an extra 200, maybe like 250k profit on top of all of the fish that we're going to have in our inventory. I do bring bait, so bait reduces the time until a fish bites by 125%. You're going to want to use this if you're fishing in a spot that doesn't have little indicators in the water that show where the fish are for a faster catch time, and I'll show you that when we get in the roads. But this is everything you're going to need. Uh, I run Battle Bracers with a full mobility setup, so Dragon Leap, Triple Kick, Falcon Smash. You can run a Bloodletter with full mobility, you can run a Double Bladed Staff. They're all huge mobility weapons. And then the abilities for these is I just run the block, and then I run Ambush. That is an Invis, so we can use an Invis to de mobs. We can use it to try to juke out enemy players if we are getting ganked. That is everything you're going to need to know for your setup, as well as... The, actually, the last thing that we need to talk about is once you get to 60, there are passive bonuses. So we're going to get extra fishing yield as well as fishing speed right here. I mean, we get item power for our fishing gear, but we're not going to be fighting with this or doing anything fancy. But as you do get these levels up, you do get increased yield and speed. So as your fishing does get higher, you can catch more. But right now we are just sitting at that nice 86% yield. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the video. I'm going to go out to a random Ava road. And the way that you find these is by looking at the symbols on the ground. But I'm going to cut the video. I'll meet you guys out there. And we're going to find an Ava road connecting to a 7 or an 8. I did find a yellow portal. There is a, it looks like there is a horse scout out here waiting to see people that are going in. But yellow portals you do need to be careful with. These can and usually are connected to higher tier zones, tier 7 and up. Sometimes they're not, but you just need to be careful because 20 plus people can come rolling through here. And there is a lot of activity, it seems like, in this portal. It, it, has, it is on a minute cooldown, so it's been a while since some people went through. But we already know that four ticks are taken, so there could be some people in there right now. But we're going to run in and we're going to look at the symbol on the ground. Now, to check the tier of the zone that we're in. So we are in now, this is a tier 4 portal. The zone that we just came from is a tier 4. But what we're going to do is we are going to inspect the map. And if this is a tier 7 or tier 8 zone, this is a beautiful zone to be fishing in. This is actually a kind of zone that you want to find because there is water everywhere. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to run over to one of these green portals. I'll cut the video. And we're going to check if it is a tier 7 or 8. So we are rolling up on a blue portal. This is the way that we check the tiers. We do have these symbols on the ground. This is actually a tier 7 Avalonian rest that we're about to go into. These little dots indicate the tier of the zone that you are going into. So this is speaking for this portal, not the zone we're currently standing in. Easiest way to check though is we pop through this portal and then we look on the other side. So on this side, unfortunately we are in a tier 4. So that means that that zone we just came from is only tier 4, which means, you know, you're not really going to find any good fishing in a tier 4. Luckily, this Avalonian Rest is tier 7. The only issue that we have is these guys right now. So if you do ever see people who are fully naked like this, they are scouts. They are probably just, I don't know if they're doing a transport or if they're watching for other people, but you always need to be careful with those. Either they're guarding for a transport or they're letting people know that someone is coming into their zone. There is a lot of hideouts in this zone. Uh, but we do have some waterfronts that hopefully I can show you guys some nice little fishing spots and we don't get messed with. We are also making this video on a weekend on the live server. So, 
you know, we could run into some people. It looks like these spots might have been fished as well. Because there wasn't any... Uh, there's a little spot right there. There's already a body right here. So we might be walking into something weird. But we're, we're gonna... I'm gonna try to get in here, get out, and show you guys. This is a very... A tedious zone to do because it is right outside of the royal so a lot of people can get to the zone easily usually you want to just go multiple zones deep so that you are a little bit safer this one was straight out of the port sterling and we are on the royal continent when we first came in so it is a little bit more risky and we did see some people clearing this green chest that is right next to our fishing spot so there's water patches everywhere as well as this coastline so it's you know, these are the best places to fish, and you want to look for these little spots right here. So I, I am going to test if I can fish right here real quick. These guys most likely are going to try to mess with me. Uh, but usually, it's it's not as bad out here usually like this. It's just we're just so close to a royal. So all you do is we just cast our line on these spots. Uh, we did do our bait, but we didn't need to because these little spots, all they do is just increase the, the catch time. There's no correlation to catching more fish on doing these. The only correlation is you catch fish faster. So our line gets hooked almost instantly every time we throw it in here as compared to fishing on just a just like a plain spot so but a lot of times i have a hideout in the black zone that i'll fish from i always look for tier seven eight zones you could always push out like three zones deep into the royal continent try to find a portal then travel through that portal and try to find a connector you do always need to just watch the corners of your screen as well as a little trick here is that if you mount up and dismount You'll get a little exclamation mark on the top of your head, meaning an enemy player is close. So if someone is invisible and rolls up on you, you can know that they're near you without even seeing them. So this is what we do. We just keep casting our line. We usually just look for little spots like this, and you can keep fishing a spot until it's dry. So we play this little mini game. All we do, um, and I've actually never fished on mobile, so I'm not 100% if it's like clicking the screen to make it go to the right. But for here, you see how it's a little bit longer to cast. So this, the fishing bait will help us catch in plain water like this. But all I do is I press left click and it goes to the right. And then I release the tension. So I just let go of the left click. It goes back down. I hold the left click again. And it starts going up. So we just keep doing that. Until the fish is caught. And get it up to the top. Got a white fox snapper. This is what we've caught so far. It's not, it's not a... Too much, 11,000. We have 5,000 here. We have 3,000. We have 2,600. We also have a book with 666 fame in it. So this is just building up. We also have these dangle mouth catfish. So we have five of them so far, and that's already worth 11,000. So it'll start piling up over time. We haven't even been fishing for five minutes. So just think of the amount that we have right now, and just over time as you are fishing, as well as filling up that journal. This uh, gets up to a million silver per hour. And if you do hit it big and you catch a lot of pyramids or you're catching a lot of tier 7 fishing up, or if you have a tier 8 zone, you can get above. You can get like 1.2 to 1.5 mil per hour, especially if you get your fishing levels up higher. I haven't even fished out here in tier 8. And a tier 8 fishing rod and tier 8 fishing gear, you would be able to catch fish faster and have a higher yield. So as we get this leveled up, if you do want to commit more silver to getting your levels up to tier 8, you can always do that. Uh, it is a little bit more risk. Of course, we are risking 405k for our equipment. So this is a risk for return. So we do want you want to catch fish and get out. But you always want to bring your fishing set. You don't want to come fishing out here without your fishing set because you're going to lose out on so much yield. You just want to bring an escape set. Just kind of always watch the corners of your screen. You can do this mount-up procedure. Hop off, no exclamation mark. You know no one's invis near you. I'm going to keep fishing here until the spot is dry. I'm going to show you guys that it's dry. So we have no bait. See how long it is to... It takes forever for a fish to get hooked. But we're getting this pretty good. Okay, let's throw another one. See what we can get. Taking forever without the bait. I'm actually just going to activate the bait. You usually want to use the bait for these plain spots, not these little... There's like little fish in the water that you can see if you cast on those they'll be able to catch faster as well as the the pools with the little schools of fish in the circle those are always going to be faster as well you can also tell if someone's been in the area by the amount of fish that are in that circle so if you roll up on one of those circles and it only has one or two fish maybe three circling that means someone was near recently uh, the more fish that are left in it that means the 
no one's been around it fishing it. But having other fishermen in the area isn't as scary because they're usually not looking for fights. They're out here to make a profit. So we're going to keep casting the spot. I just want to show you guys the little feature that you know when the fishing spot is done. Okay, so look at this one. So I'm reeling it in. And do you see how when I release the tension, the fish isn't even moving at all? That means that this spot is done. But usually when you start getting rough stone and rough logs, that means that spot has been fished too much. So you're going to start getting not as good yield as before. So right here, you see how it's standing still again. The fish isn't even moving backwards when we let go of the tension. We know that this is going to be rough logs or rough stone, so we're just going to leave it. We know now. Uh, we can run over to another spot. We have a pool right here of fish. That one's not as noticeable, so I'm going to run down south a little bit to show you guys a different one. It's like this, so it has five fish in it. So we would fish this, and then... Once you actually take one of the fish out of there, it'll minus one from the circle. So now that we got the dangle mouth, now we see four fish circling in there. So it'll get lower. So if you ever find this with one, that means there was a fisherman here recently. Uh, you can fish these spots. You can fish these spots. Any of these little water patches, this little pond you can fish. All of these you can fish. As well as that other zone that we were in that was tier four. If you ever find a tier seven or eight zone that looks like that, and I'm going to fast forward back into it and then we'll talk about it. Okay, here is the tier 4 zone that we originally came through in this yellow portal. Now, if you ever find a tier 7, 8 zone, that it, it won't look like this. But if you ever find one with a side with tons of water along these lines, and I found a couple near my hideout before, you can also fish off the road, like right here on the actual road. I wouldn't recommend doing that because anyone that runs by will see you. But if you fish anywhere in here, this is like the most amazing fishing locations that you can find. You always need to make sure that's a tier seven and up though. But if you find one of those, you will find so many of the schools of fish and the little, the little fish on top of the waters that you can catch for faster catch times. And it is one of the best zones to be fishing. Your profit will go up exponentially because you'll never really have to use bait as well as you'll be fishing your fishing speeds will be exponentially increased. So it's one of the zones that you want to find. But I'm going to meet you guys back in Fort Sterling and then we will wrap up the rest of the information. Okay, so we are back in Fort Sterling now and these are all of the fish that we collected while we were out in the Avalonian Road. So as you can see here, we have the Danglemouth catfish that is at 24,000. We have the White Fog at 21,000. Oh no, the Danglemouth's at 24. Then we have 21 for the White Fog. We have 15 for the Bright Scale. 11 and then 13,000 for this fish. So this all adds up pretty quick as well as we already have 1,539 on this journal. And that was only with like, we weren't even out there for probably 10 minutes of fishing. So you can see how this profit would rack up pretty quick over time as well as the seaweed is 10,000. So running out there, finding a tier seven, eight portal, you always wanna go a couple portals deep again, and also be very careful when you're coming out of the Royal Continent for any portals right out of the city. Cause there are gonna be a lot of individuals going out there to either fish or there are a lot of people that go out and hunt fishermen, so you have to be a little bit careful with that. But overall, the Avalonian road fishing is a lot safer than fishing out in the black zone, tier seven and eight zones, because in the tier seven, eight zones, people know that people fish there and that they are profitable, as opposed to the Avalonian roads. If you can find a zone, they are spawning randomly. Portals will despawn and respawn, so you can always find a portal where there isn't people that have found it yet so you can get some time in there fishing for a couple of hours you can get some good profit bring it back and bank it and rinse and repeat and make that silver but that's going to be it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed all of the information for the fishing and i hope you get out there and start making some silver if you guys did like the video make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video and i will see you all in albion online